it's Ruth here at artfulstampin.co.uk so I couldn't resist I've got to have a little, little play with this fresh out the packet it's a new punch that's going to be available come the 4th of May so if you're new to my channel and you'd like to purchase some of these products some Stampin' Up! products and you'd like a catalogue then please drop me a line at ruthtrice at gmail.com the link or the email address and links and things are in my description box below so hi everybody how are you doing uh, thanks everybody who's watching uh, later who didn't manage to catch me on the live and um, I think I'm gonna cut this piece up that we did the other day so I had a little play with some new product and made this sort of a wreath it's not Oh, sorry about this. Hold on, let me just get this right. There we go. Um, yeah, sort of brief. Now, let's have a look at this because I did stamp it. Hold on. That's the correct way round. This is the words read that way. So I'm going to have to cut this uh, in a way that makes that work. So I'm thinking, what about three kind of standard size cards? And then we'll go from there. I've also pre-cut a few rectangles and bits and pieces that I thought may help. So we'll do cut this up first. So 14.35. Put that that way. Hi everybody. Hi. Oh, who's that? Rebecca, Bev, Serene, Sheila, Cynthia, Helga, Valerie. Bree, Nessa, Jackie, Kathy, Mindy, Vicky, Lorraine. Hello, everybody. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Bev. Okay. Uh, I think I'll start this end because that one's a bit fuller. So we'll cut this in about 10 centimetres. So if you didn't catch me stamping this, this was. Oh. I can't remember what day I did this one, actually. Not long ago, definitely this week. So, um, oh, I'm feeling pretty weary, guys. I've laid my lino floor today and done the um, the silicone seal around the edge. Uh, I, I won't be taking up a career in lino fitting very soon, I can assure you. Um, yeah. Oh, dear me. Too, too much on the floor and on my knees and... But anyway, it saved me a few pennies by doing it myself, so that's all good. And uh, yeah, so hopefully tomorrow I may start moving a few bits in, although I am aware that there are certain people who want their catalogues. So I'm thinking, hmm, I might need to do some catalogue. Um, uh, what's the word? Addressing of envelopes. So as I said, I pre-cut some of these. So these are from the Stitch Dies Framelits. The ones that are retiring, squares, circles and ovals. Then these ones are from the Stitch So Sweetly Dies. I know, Lino Floor Career. Yeah. Well, I, I kind of rolled it out and that, that was okay. That wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. And then I used up some of the glue that my builder had purchased. It's not really, I don't think it's the proper, you know, glue is glue as far as I'm concerned, but it, it's not, it wasn't really designed for what I wanted to do. So I, it'll be interesting to see how it dries. But you know what? I'm not going to be able to see it because it's underneath the lino. Anyway, so I spread this stuff out, blobbing it on the floor and then I was like scraping it out. And then I went to lay the lino back down. So I, I laid it out and then I rolled one bit back, put the glue and then rolled the other bit back and then I rolled the other one back and then the other. And then I, I'd done something wrong and I flipped the the top of the lino back onto the glue. So it ended up being super sticky. And my my hands became like this sticky mess. And um, I, like I was trying to rub it off and it didn't work. I was like, get a cloth and oh my goodness. I, I was just like, everything I was touching was just like sticking to me. It was not, not a, it was probably funny in hindsight 
but uh, it, it was, didn't feel funny at the time. <laughs> Oh, deary me. Anyway, so White Spirit eventually got all the glue off and I had to cook dinner and my hands, they still smell. Yeah, they still smell of White Spirit. So, I don't know, the prawn curry tonight may have had a little little overtone of uh, White Spirit. <laughs> Spirit. <laughs> anyway, that was okay. And then the guy who was buying some of my wood popped round this afternoon to pick up the wood. And I said, do you know how to lay floors? And he was like, no, no. He said, but I have heard a tip though, that once you squeeze the silicon stuff into the, you know, into the corners, he said, um, use a, uh, spray some soapy water over where you've done and then it, when you clean it, when you like use your finger to kind of clean it, uh, it won't stick to the soapy areas. So I think that worked. I think that was helpful, I think. So I just got some tissue and just was there wiping and swiping um, after I kind of made a bit of a mess of squeezing the silicon stuff into the corners. But anyway, I realized also I did intend on buying the clear silicon but I bought the white one, which is more for bathrooms. But anyway, it's not like you're gonna see it. By the time I get all my shelving in, it's gonna be hidden, so. Anyway, da, da, da. the whole point of this video is to introduce you to this new punch. It's called, re really imaginative name everybody, it's called the Flowers and Leaves Punch. So I'm ho hoping to remember the name of this. Oh, look, I just punched that by accident. That was like a bit of a wastage bit, but it sort of, that I can use that. Anyway, so that's one side, one leaf. And I think then, oh, how do I do this? Oh, no, hold on. Like with all punches, you've got to kind of find that optimum way of using them so that you're not wasting too much cardstock. And I, I think definitely cutting a cut piece into a strip works. I did see another demonstrator do this the other day. Now there is a stamp set to go along with this. But at the time, oh actually I earned this punch for free because I put in a big enough order. So I didn't get the stamp set. I'm sort of regretting it a little bit now, but never mind. Okay, now I've got to figure out which ones are the leaves and which ones are the petals. <laughs> Hello, Vanessa. I should have gone to the bank with those sticky fingers. Yes. <laughs> yes. I just got to go. Give me your money. Just stick it. Stick my hands out. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm missing comments. Sorry. Oh, hi, Christine's having connection problems. Hi, Gail. Anytime you have to get down to the floor and move around is hard, I think. I know. Well, I've only got to do it once, hopefully. They spend so long picking other names. Oh, I see what you mean. Wind. <laughs> oh, hi, Sue. Oh, Esther's sneaking in the side door. She's meant to be on holiday. Not meant to be watching work stuff. <laughs> right, I've cut myself a piece of polished pink card and oh, see where's a ruler when you need it my ruler just goes walkabouts in this house because I have like family members who come and steal oh there it is <laughs> I was gonna I was just go back to blame my family then but uh, no it's on my desk sorry family um Okay, so let's measure this. So this is about four centimetres, and what's this one? Three. So if we cut a piece of this, try to, again, just sort of, it, sometimes it just takes a little bit of thinking ahead to think how to get the most out of these gorgeous punches when they're, they've got multiple images, because you're not 
generally you don't have the leaves and the flowers the same although what you could do is cut these all out with white and color them yourself which you know we could do that but we could have a go doing that tonight or maybe going over the edges of this in a darker pink that would look pretty we could get a, one of my favorite center punch stamps and we could stamp something in the centers there we go i tell you what this room is going to be so happy when i leave we're going to have all this stuff on the floor did you color your cutting blade pink or did it come that way it came that way because it's not a stumping up one yeah, so I, that's one of the most my most asked questions at the moment. I really must put a Stampin' Up! one back in there, otherwise people are going to get confused. Um, okay, so the story behind it is that my score blade stopped working because it was slightly broken. And apparently you can contact Stampin' Up! and tell them and they will replace it for you if you lose your score blade. So I'm going to have to do that. And then um, a friend of mine sent me a replacement score blade and cutting blade because whoever manufactures these for stamping up also manufacture them from for another craft company in the uk so the blades and score blades are available from another company and they fit so she was kind enough to purchase one for me and send it to me. Right, so I did get a parcel from Stampin' Up! today. Now I have a, an outstanding order because it's stuck at the moment in, um, in UPS Wonderland. Um, it's being ready to be sort of released. Right, I'm on the lookout for the stamp set I want. I thought I left put it here. Oh, here it is. It's a wild rose, this one. Wouldn't be nice to stamp that in the middle. So what am I make? Yes. Yes, that can be done, Nessa, with the... You mean with the images? Yeah. Right, uh, da, 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 da. Sheila, do you mean ours cost more? Yes, ours, our products always sort of are on the higher end because, um, well, with things that aren't made by Stampin' Up, it's because they've got to take into account our commission and other things. And then, but we get, we get a discount anyway, don't we? Right, so, this is, oh look, my nails. Oh, and I lost a nail today. Lost that nail, and I lost the end of that nail. I'm going to have to have Sheila's manicurist on the job, I think. Sheila has wonderful nails. Right, that's nice and subtle, isn't it? Now, this is a true test. What does it look like with a little bit of a twist in it? This is the Ruth test. <laughs> with this flat with this these flowers pass the test. Um, well, that's a big one. No, I wonder if doing a double layer. I have seen people double layer these and they do look okay. They look quite nice and kind of full. Yeah. Looks kind of cute. I wonder what that will look like. Oh, that, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, I'm yawning. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no, you have to be careful not to twist too hard and not to put the uh, tweezers too low down. That's, I just felt it tear a little bit then. So you don't do a full twist. You know, normally I'm kind of going right round. You don't have to do that with these because look, prone to tear at that point there it's prone to tear at that point there um yeah sometimes we rhyme on this channel you know 
There we go. Right. Now oh, that's quite cute. I like that. So the other thing that we can experiment with is just curling these. So doing that. You can do that with your bone folder as well. You don't have to do it with this. This is a bit harsh. There we go, and that's a much more kind of gentle curve. I know I'm a poet and I don't know it, even if you don't know it, I know. Sometimes happens, I, I seem to rap as I talk sometimes. <laughs> it's living with my husband, you see. He's a bit of a wordsmith, so it rubs off every so often. I can send you some from my cat's roof. They have long nails, sharp too. Oh, I bet they do. No, it's all right, Martina. I'll just have to come and stroke them one day. Right, anyway, how, how is everybody? You've heard about my day. Enough of me. <laughs> I did have a nice uh, afternoon out, though. A friend of mine uh, picked me up, and my daughter, and we went and had a nice lunch at a local garden centre. So they've organised it so well. At this garden center they uh, you go you queue up and order your food then you wait outside for it and then they call your name when your food is ready so you go you know order pay and so on wait outside and then because the garden center is it's really beautifully laid out you can go and just look at the plants for sale they obviously just like in rows in various sort of like or the order that you know various you know, they have all the herbaceous and then they have the ferns under cover and, you know, all that kind of thing. Um, and then they have gardens that you can go and walk around and each little sort of section is a different theme. So we just then went and ate our lunch in the gardens and they had one there that has had a, a, a stone table with sort of three sort of stone benches in a sort of sem sort of circular sort of fashion around this round table and the round table had a, a chess set on it we didn't next time I said to May next time we'll have to bring a chess set <laughs> but um yes it was very nice very delicious lunch and then we looked around and I bought a very nice pot sort of a beautiful kind of bluey glaze because of course it matched my matched my studio so no actual food and what's really special actually about this garden center is one of my dear friends who um, is a chef actually is the chef there now and he used to have a restaurant in town that i used to frequent quite a lot and then he moved uh, he, he then worked for another restaurant and then it's over because of you know what's been happening over the last year he he then uh, got given this job he got asked to go and work at this date this garden center which is brilliant because it's much more family friendly hours you know he does days and not you know nights and you know evenings you know what it's like in the restaurant industry it can be so hard on you and yeah so the food you know, we I had a cauliflower cheese with a uh, onion chutney in a jacket potato with a nice salad and the chutney, oh, it's just so delicious with this cauliflower cheese. That was super yum. So anyone that comes to visit me in Walshpool, I will direct you to the garden centre. Ah, oh, there we go, Janine. It is hard, yeah. Hi, uh, who's just come in? Hi, Diane. Hi, Mindy. Okay, so the idea was to create these little flowers to then um, just stick them in various places around and about and then, um, and then have a little play with these leaves as well to see what they would look like. How cute are they? And Oh my goodness, my body is aching now and I, I'm presuming it's because, <laughs> because of all the shoving around I've done this afternoon, which I'm not used to. 
or it could be a little bit of the effects of my jab, I'm not sure. Anyway, can't complain. Just explaining why I might be groaning a bit more than usual. Earth. Oof. Earth. Hi, Jan. Yeah, I think so, Janine. Oh, this looks so pretty. So th this magenta madness onto the polished pink. It's beautiful. I'm really glad they came out with this colour because up to now I felt that the next colour down from Melon Mambo was uh, Flirty Flamingo. But Flirty Flamingo has quite... It, it's got a kind of dusky tone to it and it wasn't a true kind of step down from this colour. So, oh yes, painting the ceiling twice, yes, that's true, that was yesterday. Although it was much easier to paint it yesterday than the first time because it, obviously the paint sticks a bit better once you've done that first coat. So, but anyway, yeah, I've probably done more exercise in the last two days than I've done since we moved, to be honest. So... Right, so quite happy with those. I quite like them, like sort of just in the fort single, singly without layering them. They remind me of like a is it a dog dogwood rose? I think is that right? <coughs> oh, you know what? I think I'm also going to make use of the retiring. Where's it gone? Blossom punch. Might cut some fresh freesia. Have some fresh freesia floors. So, what is French for? This chef. Well, chef is chef in French, isn't it? So, are you saying that boss is chef or chief? Is that why that character in James Bond isn't there le chief? Does that mean the boss then? Is that where his name comes from? Yes, the word chef is French, I presumed. Oh, we also have the small punch retiring, don't we? This one. So I'm just cutting out a few of these because you can't have too many flowers, can you? Oh, le chiffre, meaning number. Oh, chiffre is number. Oh, okay. Thanks for that, Serene. My knowledge expands every day with you guys. Oh, I saw the trailer for the new James Bond the other day. I do like a bit of James Bond. Especially with Daniel Craig. Quite 
Oh, Janine. You've met the woman who shook his hand as well. <laughs> Did I tell you his eyes really are that blue as well in real life? Right. I need the little... This. This is what I need. My little ball-y thing at the end of my pick tool. This is what I like to shape my little flowers. Chef meaning cook in English means boss. Oh, so in Dutch. Ah. Oh, we are very educated. He is, isn't he? And he was born not far from where I live, actually. He was born in Chester, apparently. Sorry about this, guys. This is a little bit... Um, you've probably seen me do this a few times, but... Um, it's worth, you know, punching a few things out in one go and then having them ready and then it's a bit easier to assemble then. Even these teeny tiny ones, they're so cute. Now I've already had Linda Yamakoto on the lookout for the next little flowers that I can use and she found a little set of dies think in the new catalogue that she thinks that I should get. <laughs> so let's talk 007 then. What are your favourite 007 films? Don't base it on who played Bond. Actual enjoyment of the film, you know, and how good it was. Hi, Glana. little urge to use some of this. Although it might be a bit faffy. Oh I've got a little bit of this left so this is leaving us just so you know. And it's quite cute actually tied with this stuff. Let's see. Do you think we're done? So that's not the right answer. <laughs> Based on storyline, Sue, you know, and adventure and and so forth. <laughs> Anything with Daniel in. Yeah, I think I've read one of the books. When I was a child, a child, a teenager, I I have the memory of uh, this book that the book that I read, the James Bond book I read, was he had to climb up this very shiny uh, tube. That that's the way it was described. So I have this picture in my head of James Bond having to climb up this tube, and the only sort of grip that was available was every so often where the the, the tube sort of had to be um, welded together there was like a little and I remember thinking oh my goodness that's like impossible how would somebody ought to do that but I guess James Bond can do stuff like that yeah like a pole but it was I think bigger than a pole you know a, like it was a metal like a pipe that's the word I wanted pipe um, because, of course, the films are different from the books. Uh, they've become, thankfully, slightly less misogynistic as time has gone on. Um,
Right. Thank you. Thank you, Glenna. Now, Glenna, what have you had for your tea? That's what I want to know. Thursdays is cooking day, isn't it, in your house? Right, there we go. That's three done. So all I did was I got the... Oh, I'm running out. I need to get more of this. Uh, the sat this squished, scrunched, what's it called? Sunbound in knitter... Nitta Optic Crinkled Seam Binding and then some of the polka dot stuff so that's leaving us this one that's very cute now I'm thinking how am I going to stick this all together <laughs> maybe should have got my hot glue gun on the ready but I didn't so what I tend to do with this type of thing is to use some dimensionals as you can see, I haven't decided on the sentiment just yet. And so let's build this up slowly. Oh, thank you, Sheila. Yeah, I don't know where she is. Right, I'm going to cheat, guys. So I'm holding that like that, and I'm going to flip it over. And then I'm going to stick those over the crease. Not literally heart stopping Esther, yes. So we've got pink down here, so I'm thinking that's why I'm going to put some pink at the top here. Oh, and these big uh, dimensionals fit on the back. That's nice. I always like it when I can hide the dimensionals. I don't have to worry about it too much. But I'm presuming for these smaller ones. I'm going to have to use these. That under. I'll not forget these. Oh. oh, I was watching the BAFTAs on Sunday and oh, I have to admit I shed a wee little tear because of the when they did the in memoriam section, it was like extra long this year. Sadly. I saw quite a few young people and then Chadwick Boseman. I was like, oh, Chadwick Boseman. And then, um, and then, yes, yeah, Sean Connery. And then I wasn't sure if I knew that Christopher Plummer had passed away, but it kind of came as a bit of a shock because I, I didn't think I'd, well, maybe I had. And I, sometimes I sort of read it in the paper and I, I don't always take it in, you know. I probably did know that he died. But anyway, dear Christopher Plummer. Oh, I messaged you. Oh, there we go. See, I messaged Esther about it, but obviously then forgotten. There we go. Oh, I'll tell you what, the next big one will be if Julie Andrews goes. That will be... Whew. Yes, Olivia de Havilland. Now, what is she famous for? I know the name. Oh, I forgot the leaves. Right, so to hide the dimensionals, I'm going to stick it right under a flower there. 
Gone with the Wind. Oh, was she, um... Oh, 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 oh. What's her name? Not Scarlet, the other one. Because God is my witness. I will never go hungry again. Hush, hush, Miss Sweet Charlotte. Melanie, that's it. Melanie and Ashley. Oh, Ashley. Can you believe it's been many years since I've watched that film, but it obviously left quite a an impact on me. Uh, I don't know nothing about birth and babies, Miss Scarlet. That's my that's my favourite line out of the whole film. She was the love of Scarlet's Ashley. Or Melly. Ooh, that's not Ooh, that's a bit weird. That doesn't want to stick. Right, there we go. I feel like I need to put something in the middle. Oh, we could do gems in a minute. We'll do that in a bit. Okay, let's move on, move on, move on. Let's do this one. Oh, it's just so for your reference, in terms of how I cut cut these out, um, I cut a half a piece of our cardstock. Let's get this so you can see it better. And this is the way that I kind of fit them all on the plate. And then the smaller squares I, I cut out of the insides of these and the circles. Okay, so that was the configuration, just if you wanted to try and get the most out of your your paper. I thought that might be helpful for some people. Miss Scarlet, you work on me like a tonic. Oh, I don't remember that line. I'm not sure if I can spare three hours of my life to go watch it again, to be honest. <laughs> I found a good, do you believe? Ooh, who produced that one? Sheila. We've got quite a collection of sort of Christian based films and the uh, what they call the What's It Brothers. Have you seen has, have you seen Risen, Sheila? One of the twins was George Reeve, who played Superman on TV. They had squeaking voices in those times that was possibly a count of the great people. Oh. oh, no way. Did Carol Burnett do a version? <gasps> I've just recently got into Carol Burnett. I found some stuff on YouTube that I started watching. Just classic. I saw the hospital sketch that she did. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. I forgot my little thingy. Where's my glue dots? Bob Mackey did the costumes. What for? Gone with the wing. Gone with the wind. Did it get an Oscar for the costumes? Because it did. Did it win the Oscar that year? And did Vivian Lee get it for Scarlet? Oh, for Carol Burnett. Sorry. Bob Mackey did the costume. So George Reeves, Superman in the original TV show played. Isn't that funny that Christopher Reeve then went on to play? <laughs> Similar name. Let's 
Superman in the films. Which, can I just say, all the Christopher Reeve, no, the first two Christopher Reeve Supermans are the best ever. If you disagree with me, you can leave now. <laughs> I'm joking. We can disagree. Right. Need some more of these. Uh, I watched the first... Oh, I think I've watched the first two or three episodes of The Chosen. Yeah. But I need to go back and watch a few more. Yeah. Oh, don't. Glenna, I was... T didn't I talk about this the other day? I was listening to the music. <gasps> Who remembers the music? I'll just play you a very short snippet. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, I remember... I remember bawling my eyes out to that film. And also, I think I probably watched it when I was... When my hormones were probably, like, at the highest level of my teen years. And so it just made it even worse. Uh, what was it called? Somewhere in Time. Yeah, I recently rediscovered the soundtrack um, to that film. Although I was listening to the whole soundtrack, like everything, and it, it basically repeats that one, <laughs> one kind of refrain over and over and over. So it gets a little bit boring. Um... Oh, here it go. Here we go. Oh, let's turn it up. Oh, <laughs> right, that's all I'm playing. Um, <laughs> oh, it's so romantic. <laughs> oh, and it's got Christopher Reeve in. He's just the best. Anyway, let me get you guys back and see what you're all saying. Oh, uh, no, it's called Somewhere in Time, Serene. And oh, I'm not, not going give to give too much away, but it's about a man who goes back in time. He's staying at this hotel and he goes back in time and meets a lady who was staying at the same hotel and falls in love with her. And, um, yeah... Oh. oh, you've not seen Somewhere in Time, Christine? Oh, it's like a really old classic. It's probably really hard to get hold of. Oh, dear. Lorraine's just, like, spoilt it now. <laughs> Lorraine, spoilers. Not everyone has seen it. <laughs> I might have to delete your comment, Lorraine, because, you know... Is it on Netflix? Oh, sorry. Are you talking about? <laughs> Just realised, Lorraine. Are you talking about Krista Reeve or the or the or the actual character? I actually can't remember what happens at the end of the film. I know all I know is that it was sad. <laughs> oh, it was a beautiful hotel. Beautiful. <laughs> Thanks, Lorraine. Sorry, I thought you were spoiling the, the plot. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I'm so sorry. My brain is a little bit addled. Tom and I were listening to the radio the other day and this lady was talking about how she's got long COVID, which is what you can have when you've had COVID and then um, the symptoms just like are really kind of keep going, your fatigue and stuff. And I was like you know what, I think I might have had it back, way back last year, and I'm still, I'm still experiencing the, uh, the effects, my brain starts to go a bit fuzzy, <laughs> this might look nice vertical, I know, but the words go that way, Esther, I'm a bit torn, <laughs> yeah, Sean, yeah, oh, but he, 
he was a good age, wasn't he? Bless him. There we go. So you don't obviously you don't have to do exactly the same thing with every one that you do. I'm thinking a little flower inside these ones. Right, stop playing with. Oh, the rectangle. Go that way. I know, but what am I going to write in there? I suppose I could do just like a couple. Oh, I could do three words. I could cut them up, couldn't I? And make them go that way. Yes, okay. Uh, right, so. I think I'm just going to put. Oh, glue this to this. So I'm using the new soft succulent colour with the evening evergreen, and they are just a gorgeous match. So they're like. They're like, you know, older brother, younger brother type colours, you know. They go really well. And then we have, you know, Aunt Violet or Aunt Mabel or whatever come to the party with the pink. <laughs> he did have a very sexy voice, yes. Sean, Sean Connery. My name's Sean Connery. No, my name's James Bond. I know, but would you wanted him to say, I'm Sean Connery or I'm James Bond? Hi, Bev. <laughs> Hi, Wendy. <laughs> okay, let's put that there. And then this one can just stick underneath me. That's all right, Wendy. We're on the subject of favourite, well, we've been talking about favourite Bond films. And then we've talked about Christopher Reeve. No Bond. James Bond. Um. Oops, I can't remember. Is that what I decided to do there? I think it was, wasn't it? Oh, we've got quite a bit of pink going on down here. Mm, okay, no, I'm not going to put pink there. So we'll just do these pink ones up in here in this corner. Like that. And... What else was Sean, Sean Connery in? Post Bond or pre Bond? Jan, my hubby saw that when he was small. What's that? Darby O'Gill and the Little People. Oh, I've never heard of that. Never heard of that. Gonna have to look that up. Oh yes, Indiana Jones. Yes, he played the dad, didn't he? Oh, he's getting on now a bit as well, isn't he, Harrison Ford? But he's he's a oh, he's a good actor. I loved regarding Henry. Annette Benning, I think it's Annette Benning in that, isn't it? I think I'm just going to leave that like it is actually. I might just pop a few green bits. Oh yes, Hunt for Red October. Oh, uh, Zorro. Was it Zorro? With Catherine Zeta Jones? And, um, swish, swish, swish. What's his name? Oh. Oh, what's his name? Marnie. Oh, didn't know you did that. Antonio Banderas, that's it. My kids know him from the Spy Kids movie. <laughs> I love how, like, um, when these actors 
you know, over the years as their career goes on, like different generations are introduced to different, act, you know, to actors and the, like they associate them with certain things like Alan Rickman to me, or like I was introduced to Alan Rickman through, um, who remembers the film La Liaison, oh no, sorry, Dangerous Liaisons based on the film, uh, based on the book La Liaison Dangereux. Um, now, in, in, sorry, this is like me doing my film nerdy knowledge, uh, which was translated, I believe, or the screenplay was written by Christopher Hampton, who has just won, sorry, the f uh, the, he's just written or adapted a film, uh, a book called The Father with Anthony Hopkins, based, uh, to, it's dealing with Alzheimer's, and Christopher Hampton translated that or did the screenplay for that. Um, anyway, that's a, a film to watch out for. Um, yes. Right, let's do some embellishing. Let's see if I can find my cute pearls. What else have I got? Mm -hmm. No, that's the wrong colour. I've got my champagne ones. Oh yes, he was in Avita, wasn't he? I did see that, yes, a very long time ago. I remember that film giving me a bit of a headache. I think I think I watched it when I wasn't very well. And um, I found it all a bit much, to be honest. I don't think I've ever gone back to it. So, um, oh, that's a bit of a match made in heaven. Purple Posy. And... Fresh Freesia do very well together. Look at that. How cute. I have I have heard some people say, why are we carrying over these pearls when we don't have purple posy anymore? Wow. I think this is the reason. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That matches beautifully, doesn't it? Oh, yes, Wendy, I have. And I cried my way through that film too. I saw it in the cinema, actually, when it first came out. And I thought it was a, it was a beautifully made film. With the... Um, well, it was in those days, it was all so new, that sort of computer graphics, wasn't it? Yeah, very interesting film. Did you get the new in colour jewels? No, I but I have ordered them recently, Sheila. I I put a I put quite a conservative order in <laughs> initially, and then I just had to order something else for somebody. So I have ordered a few more items from the. It list the notebook. You were so good at me. My brother said that she'd always thought of him as a himbo, but that she really. Which 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 show are you talking about, Lorraine? Are you talk oh, are you talking about? Are you still talking about Sean Connery? I'm just trying to find some. Oh, where's my other one? So I'm just trying to figure out what to put where. Hmm. It's a bit tricky. Oh, that one might go in there. Oh, sorry guys. I'll, yeah, I'll come up close. There we go. This isn't really showing up now so much. My little bit of stamping that I did earlier. Um, but anyway. I think I'll leave that. Right. So these have all these sort of show up. Oh, I know what. Let's just do a little bit of wink in the middle. That will help. Turn, my, turn it around a little bit. There we go. 
That works okay, doesn't it? And then you can just do a little. I don't know what. Let's bring you in a bit so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm just going round the. Just going round the pearl there. Just round, round it like that. So it just brings a, makes that a little bit of a focal point there. Then do a little, little dab in these. Ah, oh, I've just had a cup of tea, Deborah. I needed one. <laughs> Probably could do a drinking a bit more water as well. Um, okay, I'm just going to do a little, little smattering on the, the leaves as well. Just a little, little, you know. See that? Right, so let's do some a bit of wink on there. A little bit around here. Oop, oop, oop. Then a little bit in there. A little bit there, a little bit there. There we go. Oh, there's a leaf there that I've not used, so... No. Yeah, I'm thinking that as well, Deborah. Possibly my muscles are a little bit achy. Although I might fall asleep <laughs> in, the, in the bath. <laughs> Your craft area is a bit glittery. Oh dear. <laughs> Right guys, um, so obviously normally I would put these on a base, I just haven't got, oh sorry I'll pull out a bit now, try and tidy up a bit while you let me know which ones you liked the look of and I'll go over the products used. Thank you for sharing this out if you have done and uh, thank you for pinning to your boards so you can directly pin a video to your Pinterest boards you just uh, tap on the share icon you know the arrow the curved arrow I'm just looking for a spare bit of that ribbon because I remembered I did tie this extra one didn't I but didn't use it and um, yeah you can Yeah, so you press the share and then it will say, where do you want to share it to? So it does that funny like arrow thing with the, the dots on it. And then you can say Pinterest if you have Pinterest on your device. And you then pin it to whatever board you fancy pinning it to. So I do have a Pinterest account and if you follow my Ruth's Creations board or that's that I tend to pin my things on there. And then I also have a board called Stampin' Up uh, Stamp Set Inspiration. So I pin things that I find nice on there and then try, I've sort of categorised it a little bit as well to make it a bit easier to find things. So there we go. Right. So this was using a stamped one sheet wonder that I did the other night. I'll put the link below in the description and then I also wanted to just show off again some products that are going to be retiring we use that little flower punch then we use that the, the punch that punches out lots of flowers I can't remember what it's called the confetti something something this one the confetti border die uh, punch I think it's called and then use the stitched framelits, which are real classic kind of type. You know, if you're starting out using dies, it's quite a good starter one because you've got four squares, four ovals, and four. 
Ooh. Circles. Circles, squares and ovals. There we go. I forgot for a minute then. Now I did pull this out but I didn't end up using it. The daisy punch. So we'll use that another day. Patty has a question. Sorry, thanks Esther. Does wick dry up in the pen? Wick. What do you mean wick? Wendy, sleep well. Do you mean what do you mean wick? Do you mean the glitter? Oh, the nib of the wink. I've never known it to. Has anybody else? I didn't think it could. I mean, you generally don't store it without the with the lid off. You just keep keep the lid on. Yeah, I've not. I've never known mine to. Only when it's run out. And then, as Jan intimated earlier, you can add, you can get some rubbing alcohol, and you can take this off, and then very carefully remove this section. And you, actually, if you use the Stampin' Up scissors, they're quite good at getting that off. You've kind of just got to work at it. And then you can pour new alcohol into there and then close it up and give it a good shake and it will just any glitter that's kind of left in the bottom it will kind of reactivate yeah Jan yeah Jan only refilled because it, she'd run out the moisture you know it'd run out of it but generally it does take quite a while before it runs out so Although, to be fair, I think I'm on like pen number four or five because I do use it a lot. I love it. Right, nice to see you all. Um, thankfully, you showed how to do it. Yes. Hi, Amanda. I didn't see you pop in. Sorry about that. Um, oh, no worries, Amanda. I ho hope you're feeling better today. How have I been since my COVID jab? Oh, Joanna, I'm in bed watching. I've had a bad... Oh, from an... Oh, sorry to hear that, Joanna. Um, yeah, no, I'm, my arm's just a little bit tender. Uh, and I, I do feel a little bit weary and achy, but I, that might be to do with laying a lino floor today. Maybe. So. Oh, okay, Glenna. Right, love to you all. Oh, I'm off. Excuse me. I'll keep yawning. Stop yawning, Ruth. Uh, thanks for all the thumbs up. Uh, thank you for your continued support, guys. And uh, I'll see you all soon. Take care.